Hello everybody, uh, I, I want to discuss with everyone today about the tree of knowledge of good and evil. I'm asking the question, did that tree represent the law? Because sin was born when the law or the commandment was given, do not eat. And that law was broken. And so sin was born at that time and passed on through the generations until Christ, who became sin for us. And so the reverse would happen and law would cease. And so therefore, so does sin. When you think about the name of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, there's only one thing in the Bible that tells us what is good and what is evil, and that is the law. First of all, God gave Adam and Eve one commandment, and that was not to eat from the tree. Once they did broke that commandment, causing them to transgress, and that means that an animal had to be sacrificed to push their sin onto Calvary. God sacrificed an animal to as a temporary covering for their sin. That's a symbolic event to represent the, the temporary covering until Christ and clothed Adam and Eve with the skins of animals to hide their nakedness. Adam and Eve knew they were naked when they ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil because they lost the image of God which was their righteousness and that as them wait then they grew a conscience that felt shame guilt dirt and they wanted to cover that dirty feeling they felt and so this has been passed through all the genes throughout all the generations the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was declared good along with everything else and as we know it tells us in the written testimony the law is good eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil brought a curse the law brings a curse the tree of knowledge of good and evil brought death the law brings death the tree of the knowledge of good and evil enlightened the eyes of Adam and Eve. The law enlightens the eyes. The tree of knowledge of good and evil was forbidden by God to be eaten. The law is forbidden for believers to be sought after. The tree of knowledge of good and evil makes one wise. The law makes one wise. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil made Adam and Eve sin conscious. The law brings consciousness of sins. The tree of knowledge of good and evil caused Adam and Eve to hide themselves from good. The law disconnects people from good because it cannot make anyone righteous. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil brought fear to Adam and Eve and slavery to the law brings about fear. Adam eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil brought condemnation. The law is a ministry of condemnation. Those who use condemnation in their word are under law. They may say they are not, they are free from it, but they are not. A ministry of condemnation brings condemnation, so therefore they themselves are still under law. Adam and Eve began to judge each other after eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The law causes people to judge one another. By eat, Adam eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, many were made sinners. 
the law came in so that sin might increase. The law of the knowledge of good and evil brings knowledge of good by definition. The law is the embodiment of knowledge and of truth, which is good. The tree of knowledge of good and evil brings knowledge of evil by definition. Through the law comes the knowledge of sin. There are only two trees, one brought life, one brought death. The tree of knowledge of good and evil brought death. Thus we can assume that the law brings death. Jesus is full of grace and truth. He is the way, the truth and the life. Therefore, Jesus is the tree of life, which is the covenant of grace as opposed to the covenant of law. And it is that new covenant of grace in which, um, which is that we, is that which we walk in, as new covenant kingdom citizens, the children of better promises, the children of light, and in them there is no condemnation. The ones who bring condemnation are the ones who they themselves are under law themselves. The people speaking condemnation have an agenda to bring you under law and therefore bring death, sin, darkness into our lives. Can you see how it works? The two trees, the tree of life, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the tree of life is Jesus Christ. This is the tree that we're eating from, which we have been allowed to eat from because of what he did on the cross. He became sin for us. And therefore, sin does not exist anymore for those eating the tree of life.